The absence of Len Bia's dream. Let's find out first, who is Len Bias? The child with the nickname Frosty named after his pastor Gregory Edmund because of his cool demeanor, is a tall child but modest in his actions. A Leonard Kevin Bias born on November 18, 1963 in Landover, Maryland, and died June 19, 1986. Len is still very young when you think about it, he was 22 years old when he passed away. Bias can be considered one of the best. He's probably the best athlete and basketball player to come out of this county at the college level, said County Schools Athletic Supervisor Earl Hawkins, who was the boys' basketball coach at Crossland High in 1986. He had potential for greatness at the pro level. It was just a total tragedy. There are many and high expectations for this young man. One that here compares or considers it to be able to keep up with Michael Jordan and even surpass if possible. We do not think that a child who is weak or gentle will learn basketball and fast learner. Teach Lenny today and Lenny would use it tomorrow. He was that quick of a learner and good of an athlete. Bob Wagner, his mentor. Bias won Player of the Year at the Atlantic Coast Conference in 1984-1985 following in the footsteps of North Carolina's Michael Jordan. Len also won the ACC Player of the Year in his senior season and completed a 2,149 points record of his school. Len Bia's signature move immediately marked his time. He is 6 foot 9 inches in height and has a blend of grace, power and athleticism. And even though the young man is tall he has a silky smooth jumper. An event also marked the history of American basketball. Many people saw a white suit with a black tie, holding a Boston Celtics jersey alongside NBA Commissioner David Stern. Early on June 19, the day of NBA draft, a celebration took place. Friends Brian Tribble, teammates David Gregg and Terry Long held in his dorm room in Washington Hall. Frosty was also among those celebrating, along with its troops. In an unexpected event, the illicit drug of our time, cocaine, is also present and present. At 8.50 a.m. The next morning, Leonard Kevin Bias was pronounced dead. Life is a bowl with lemon and honey, sometimes sweet, sometimes bitter, said Bias, whose other son. That's right, lesson learned. Be it bitter or sweet but still be thankful because it still gives us the opportunity to live. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell for notification.